So who's ready for spring? In this video, my top 10 favorite spring scents, designer edition for 2019. So let's do it. What is up, Frag fam? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, my top 10 spring scents, designer edition 2019. What I consider great spring scents are floral citruses, you know, fruity mint, lavender, perhaps a little bit of iris and vetiver. Those type of scents are the ones that I truly gravitate towards when spring rolls around. So the top 10 fragrances I'm about to share with you right now are fragrances that I look forward to wearing this year, this spring of 2019. So without any further ado, let's hop right into them. At the 10th spot from the house of Mugler, we have Crypto Mint. Now, Crypto Mint is a great fragrance because it has a little bit, it retains a little bit of that patchouli, chocolatey nuance that you get from the original A-Man. This is the York Patty, the junior mint of the fragrance community. This one is great for a spring day or a spring night when you're looking for something that still has a little bit of a bite, a little bit of an oomph, but also has some of those uplifting components that we're looking forward to for the upcoming spring season. So, Crypto Mint at number 10. At the ninth spot, a newcomer to this list. This is Mont Blanc Explorer. If you have not checked my review, it's going to pop up here somewhere. Go check it out. This particular fragrance has a very uplifting and juicy bergamot up top. However, the qualities of this fragrance is going to immediately remind you of a juggernaut of a fragrance in the fragrance community. If you're familiar with Creed's Aventus, this fragrance has a lot of the components that Creed's Aventus has. It's definitely a rendition of Creed's Aventus, but it does its own thing, which I quite liked. Performance wasn't that bad. Like I said, watch the review. It's definitely one worth checking out, especially when you can already find this at discount. As we all know, with Mont Blanc fragrances, they get to the discounters quite quickly, and this is already there. So this is going to be a compliment gather. It smells great. It's very appealing for those that do not, uh, for those that are not familiar with Creed's Aventus or are not familiar with niche fragrances. This is a great segue into the niche world because it has that universally appealing Creed Aventus vibe that we all come to love. Now, this next one here at the eighth spot is one that's been in my collection for many years. Now, I actually have two bottles of this fragrance, including the musk special edition this is a great fragrance been around for over 12 years and it's a staple for me when it comes to springtime this is none other than for him from Narcisa Rodriguez. It's an extraordinary musk fragrance, patchouli, violet, and a hint of amber. It also has some herbal nuances. It is just a stellar fragrance when the weather starts to turn from winter to spring. This is definitely one that never lets me down. Speaking of never letting me down, here's a fragrance that always gets me good positive attention. This is Allure, Chanel Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme. Carries that Chanel scent profile of the original Allure, which is citrus, aromatic, very inviting. This here adds, you know, the note of mint, tonka, and bitter orange up top. It's just a phenomenal fragrance. If you're looking for one scent to wear this springtime, this one has it all. It's definitely going to get you smelling amazing and also give you some positive attention. If you like compliments, this is definitely one you want to have in your wardrobe this springtime. At the sixth spot here, also from the house of Chanel, we got two Chanel's back to back. They do amazing. Springtime is where Chanel shines the most for me in my rotation when it comes to designers. This here, Chanel Blue Parfum, released last year in 2018. I love this one. I think it's a little bit more refined than the other two, the EDT and the EDP. This is the one that I've been wearing the most right now. I actually put a nice little dent in the, into this bottle, almost halfway gone. Wore a lot of this fragrance last year. We'll continue to do so this springtime. If you're looking for a great scent to wear during the day, this is a great go-to for me in the daytime. I just love the scent. It just garners me good positive attention. It smells great. I can dress this up, dress it down. No matter what, I know I'll be smelling great. It's a dumb reach for sure. If you want to smell great, don't want to think too much, Chanel Blue Parfum is definitely the way to go. For someone who loves Vetiver, I cannot do a top spring list without this one right here at the fifth spot. None other than Tom Ford's Great Vetiver Eau de Parfum. Look how much I wore this shoes. Over half the bottle is gone. I'm definitely getting a larger bottle this time around. I love this scent. When, I, when it comes to work scent, daily wear, this is my go-to in the warmer days of springtime. It just works perfectly with my body chemistry, and it's one of those scents that just makes me feel like a million bucks. If you guys have not tried Grey Vetiver from Tom Ford, this stuff here is pure gentleman elixir in a bottle. At the fourth spot, speaking of gentleman elixirs, this is another gentleman elixir that will never let you down. If you want a perfect buttery iris that is just done to perfection, clean, crisp, invigorating, very inviting. Check out Prada Loam. This stuff here is just 
amazing. This is floral, it's a little bit spicy, it's going to be woodsy in a dry down and a little bit powdery. Just sophistication in a bottle for your day-to-day -day wear. Prada Lum also has a lot of those spring components that I come to love, like violet leaf, neroli, and of course the star of the show, Iris Done to Perfection. Guys, check this one out. If you like Iris and you want something for everyday wear, Prada Lum is the way to go. What can I say about my number three spot here? You guys heard it all about this fragrance. There's nothing I can say here that hasn't been said before. This, of course, is Aqua de Gio Profumo. I can't wait to try the Absolute Instinct that just dropped this year. But this, however, is amazing. It takes that original Aqua de Gio profile, adding that patchouli, dark patchouli incense, kind of an undertone. That is just an amazing scent. It's gonna get you compliments. It's dumb reach, easy to wear. Dress up, dress down, whether you're wearing a three-piece suit, you know, shirt and a tie, casual wear like I'm wearing today, or a polo shirt. This stuff here will get the job done, no questions asked. Perfect spring scent for sure. If you could only have one in this whole list, this is the one that I would probably suggest blind buy because you just can't go wrong. You're gonna like the way you smell, People are gonna like the way you smell and you're gonna feel great. What more can you ask from a scent? This number two here is a fragrance that I absolutely adore. I've been wearing this again for many years now, I believe since 2007, always been in my rotation for the springtime. This particular fragrance opened, I think, a subgenre for men fragrances. Many people call this the ultimate natural sexual elixir. Whatever you wanna call it, one thing's for sure, this stuff smells amazing. We're talking about, of course, from the house of Christian Dior, this is Dior Own. You have leather, you have sage, you have lavender, Patchouli, cacao, and iris. Talk about an amazing blend of you know notes that you would not think would go so well together, but this stuff here is just to die for. Francois de Manchy did a fantastic job with this. Dior Homme, definitely an extraordinarily blended masterpiece. If you haven't gotten your noses under your own, do yourself a favor out there. If you're watching this video, go to a Sephora, check this out. It is just amazing, awesome for the springtime. Let me get a drum roll, ladies and gents. This particular fragrance at my number one in 2019 from the designer side of things. This is one of those scents that I absolutely fell in love with. It was, you know, love at first sniff, if you will. I love the scent. I love the house of Hermes. I love the Terre line. As you guys follow this channel, the uh, Terre de Hermes Eau Fraiche has become my number one go-to summer scent in the designer side of things for the past three plus years. Now we have a newcomer here for the springtime. This is none other than Talia Hermes Eau Intense Vetiver. For a person that loves vetiver, this stuff here is vetiver heaven. A vetiver lover's dream. If you guys have not checked out my review, it'll pop up here somewhere as well. Go check out the review. It's an amazing scent. It lasts a long time. Smells great. The vetiver here is done to perfection. If you like the original Tavia Hermes, this one here just takes it to the next level. I am a huge fan of vetiver scents. If you guys like Guerlain's um, vetiver, this particular stuff here is like Guerlain vetiver, Guerlain vetiver extreme. And then you add some, you know, smoky components. That's what you get with this stuff here. It's just amazing. Bar none, one of the best vetiver designer scents out there today. Check this out guys, you'll not disappoint. Now if you guys were curious about any of the picks that I mentioned here in my top 10 releases, it's a very simple way that you guys can try fragrance samples and decants with my partner MyFragranceSamples.com, which I'll have down in the description below and you can actually utilize my code that's going on right now, MAX15, that will grant you guys with any decants or samples give you guys an additional 15% off at checkout. If you're looking for high-end, you know, niche fragrances, designers, new releases, they've got it all. MyFragranceSamples.com, I've been a customer for the past three and a half years before I partnered with them. If you're looking for a place to sample fragrances with 100% authenticity and peace of mind, look no further, MyFragranceSamples.com is the way to go. But I'm gonna do one better for you guys. I'm gonna be doing a two-part giveaway. So two lucky winners will be able to walk away with a max pack, all 10 fragrances mentioned in this video, for free. All you have to do is follow details that are gonna be posted in the description below so you guys can enter for a chance to win. And the good thing is, it's going to be worldwide. So good luck, everyone. In about two weeks time, I'll come back to this video and post a comment in which I will pin it to the top of this video so you guys can figure out who the two winners were. You guys will get in touch with me and I'll get your max packs out to you as soon as possible. But be sure to follow details in the description so you guys can enter this giveaway. Also, let me know in the comment section below what you guys like to wear in the springtime. I love to read your comments and perhaps put down your top three, five, or top 10 favorite spring go-to scents that you like to wear in the springtime. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gents. Remember, fragrance is emotion in motion, so wear what moves you. See you real soon.